Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian to the, yeah, tonight, not today. Uh, along with... We assume first we drink here at your service and uh, I think we forget this over here. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to hurry a bit due to... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Do you dinner? So just jumping back to this for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I can't just activate something here, folks. It should be I nearby. Can't activate them uh, when it's not on the actual seat. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Drakir asked for some uh, defensive measures after last time. <laughs> yeah, I got Eldritch Horror Spray and a Enchanted Bronze Cannon. Oh, sorry, Enchanted Brass Cannon. Also, uh... Now, where's the brass balls? <laughs> uh, well, you could fire garlic or the cross. We so, yeah, welcome to Dredge. Fires, Captain. Uh, welcome to Dredge. And hello to Glacier Boy and Marco. Hope you two are doing well. And, oh, hello, yeah. Marco and Glacier Boy. Uh, Let's get started. Yes, I will. I'm going to have to admit. Glacier Boy is the one that gave me this idea. <laughs> Anyways, let's have a little look. Uh, we've got this one. Uh, we can put that in storage. Uh, yeah, last time we went to the Stellar Basin and we managed to, well, survive the Stellar Basin. We got another relic. And uh, yeah, now we need to head to the next area, which is going to be the mangrove area, which which is where these finally come into play. Uh, let's see. We have Abyssal, Hadon, Oceanic Fishing. And we have a lot of stuff in our storage. So let's go look if we can put any of that in the dry dock. Uh, let's... Cloth we need. And cloth, cloth is of exactly what we don't have. Okay, so I guess oh we'll start dear. off with just going to look for some cloth. Hmm? Uh... <laughs> Glacier Boy is asking what, what they did to get you the idea. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to Dredge, the Cthulhu fishing game. Uh, let's see. Mm, sorry, I need to swallow. Uh, in the last stream, Glacier Boy made a pepper spray yolk. Yeah. And that gave me the, the off the steel. Oh, wait. That would be fun to add. Yeah, and I just gave him some more stuff because I don't think pepper spray is going to work against a bloody kraken. And yes, well, I, I don't mind who I'm. Uh, wait, oh, uh, you, if you, you go, go out, out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, just in case there's any vampires out there as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I can confirm the the kraken will actually go and slap you if you go up. <laughs> into the center of the area. And no, I didn't Slap. do that by... Yeah, it will whack you with a... It will whack you with a tentacle. Also, give me a second to correct this. Uh, yeah, that should be a bit better, I think. Hmm? Uh, I, 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 looking to the side here, I... Yeah. <laughs> My avatar is falling asleep, apparently. Uh, Are you having that problem again? Yeah, I'm not having it. Well, that it's... It's freaking out on its eye recognition or something, so... What is going on with this? <laughs> Should I move the eye patch or something? That I can, that easily at least. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I saw another you know, streamer play it for a bit. I stopped watching after they got to where we are about. And uh, yeah, it will actually poke out of the water and slap you with its tentacles. Yeah, I th it was a little bit of blitz playing this, but he, he went to the volcanic island very early, so I stopped watching very early uh, right away as well there. Yeah, they did it as well. They, the streamer I'm talking about is called Sloop Tube. Uh, let's Volley Rod does Oceanic, but this one also <laughs> does Oceanic, so it's kind of not necessary anymore. Uh, let's see. Wrong Glacier Boy! 
Stop falling asleep, Hill. <laughs> the no promises. Okay. Uh, do we actually have enough money for this. Um. But I we shouldn't we shouldn't wait around too much with going to the new area. So I just realized something here. Sure. Hmm? Is it, it, men was just call you Hill, correct? Yeah, or Helian. Yeah, but it says men was just say Hill for short. I wonder how many, how many will be confused when you talk to you as Hill without context. Uh, not too many, I think. Um, you do know oh. what a hill is, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Trader. We have some this to sell. There. And there. And we might as well organize this a little bit. Okay, still keeping this. But we do have a bit of extra space for rods at the moment. Uh, let's see. Right. I forgot. Hmm? We, 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 were to, we were to feed the cultist. Yep. Uh, yeah, something I also learned. If you wait too long with feeding the guy in blue robes, uh, they will eventually actually starve and die. And apparently yeah. I forgot to... A we, we need a blue mackerel. Uh, let's see. Not there. Here. And then pursuits. Uh, let's see. Yeah, blue mackerel should be easy enough. Uh, that's wood. And the fish are about to go hide. So... Oh, wait. Wait, we don't have any coastal equipment <laughs> equipped. Okay. Uh, yeah, seeing as it's day 40, I hope it isn't too late. What? You, got you, you got a fish? Uh, yeah, I caught it's something in the net. Maybe it's the one you need. Uh, no, it's an arrow squid. Some fish can be uh, some fish can't be caught with throwing, I think. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. What was this? Yeah, we need to uninstall something. I don't think we'll need Hadel and Abyssal for a bit. So, let's see. Shallow and coastal. Let's get this one. And what else gives the biggest bonus? 38. 6. Yeah, this one then. And we can install one more and keep the thrower. So there, have it pointing <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> so many f fishing tools. Okay, and let's rest up. Hopefully that uh, hopefully that guy isn't like extremely important for something. Okay. Go one blue mackerel, and I think they were up here, or was it? No, I think they were to the south, no north. Yeah. Yeah. It, this it. boat, I think it's spoiled, but I'm not gonna say what happens. Okay. Well, we'll find out ourselves if we waited too long. Yeah. Just uh, 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 every prepare you a bucket. Let's see, there's a. Oh, that, that's a boat out there. And there's a storm. Uh, wait, was it here? Okay, I, it's I knew here? that there was something around here. Uh, there's uh, another boat? Yeah, uh, let's focus on the cold. So it, it was, they were to the south. But now I'm calling... It's, yeah, yeah, it's as good as certain that they are cultists of some sort with the robes and such. Yeah, don't we have a tracker? Um, uh, on the minimap or something? No, that, it only shows where we can, <laughs> where we can, uh, uh, port, when, not port, where we can dock. Alright, but it's all on someone else, the, they have in the X marks on their maps. Yeah, but that's from the, this one. I don't think we can really track these. Wait, clicking there again, I saw something there. Do you see the little square there? Press that. Yeah, that, that, that that's just to oh. see if you've ticked it off or not. Oh, completely. Damn it. That, that is where they should be, I think. So, 
yeah, here's hoping they haven't collapsed in on themselves or something. Or eaten themselves. This auto cannibalism is a thing. Yeah. I'm not sure how much it helps, though. Here we go. Something seems off. The hooded figure is slumped. Long road. Yeah, we waited too long, it seems. You watch from a distance for some time, but see no movement. You turn around and leave quietly. Welp. Yeah, the person passed away. We messed that up. Oh, dear. Let's pray he wasn't a major story part. Yeah. So, Vomero, he could just be part of a bad ending. From what I've heard, there are mm, at least two endings. So, let's hope that was just an optional thing. For now, though, uh, let's just head over to the builder here so we can get that other stuff. Well, go meet the other person on that boat. Okay, getting plenty of fish. Oop, something aberrant yeah. here. Yeah, I don't wanna, what, what was the other boat about? Now we're heading there next, so we'll see. Okay, we'll take. Oh. May as well try and line up. There we go. And rest. Uh, yeah, I didn't actually... Hmm. When you think about it, them be talking about hunger and such does make it make sense that there is a time limit. I'm just <laughs> not really used to the, yeah, stuff like that having unmarked timers anymore. Because typically you are told explicitly when something has a time limit. Yeah. Hello there. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Let's come all out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A uh, fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? <laughs> no, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to the Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. The huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. Yeah, I could deliver the package to Little Marrow for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Let's see. Addressed to the dark worker at Little Marrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. Okay, so similar to the package we got from the mayor. Yeah, is there is something in chat there. Mm. Uh, it's glacier, <laughs> glacier boy, all uh, crying uh, emotions, uh, emotes with. Oh, all right. That did not miss uh, anything, I think. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to play through this game a second time to see if there's other things I can do, like the. The lighthouse keeper definitely knows something about what is going on. And I'm curious if we can bring relics to her. Okay. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dark worker at Little Marrows. Or Little Marrow, but I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I can think I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? And again an item emerges from the door hole. This time a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Okay, I can't blame them for all the shit we've seen so far. Yeah, I think I know what, what creature he's talking about. Uh, he, he's actually the direct opposite from the the Gilchrist, but there could be others like it around. Oh, well, I thought it was the damn thing that uh, I hear will eat you if you uh, get too close to the edge of the map. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more if you get too far away from the map. And yeah, something will pop out and just outright kill you because the game can't the, the game can't render the open ocean infinitely. Okay. Yeah, Where's they treating? Fitting. <laughs> a delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friends. Now let you excuse me. Wish me luck. He turns his hur and hurries off down the dock with an, without a, another word to you. Or compensation. <laughs> Thanks, fuckhead. Okay. Uh, let's go sell these two. Not that we're short on cash. But, well, with how expensive the upgrades are, it is useful to have every little bit. Okay, let's not blow out the engine. Okay. Yeah, once we're done with this series, I think I am going to end up watching others play this. Let's see, we've got some cards, oh, and we did get some blue mackerel this way. And before we go, wooden cloth is what we need. Let's go to the shipwrights, repair our net. And we're going to the builder. Because their place is a little bit closer, and we might as well see if there's been any developments. Uh, oh, let's see. Something else I seem to beat? You definitely want the EF engine. Okay, the, the single one or the, the big one? Uh, the single one is apparently enough to give you quite the speed. Okay. Let's see then. Uh, research, engines... It is 10 knots for a single one. Uh, let's see. 25 or 26, that's... <clears throat> about 7 knots per uh, square. Actually, no, it's it's more because it's 3 squares, not 4. Uh, so that's about 9 knots as well. Uh, this would be only a small upgrade. and I, I presume they'd be very expensive as well for each. Or are you talking yeah, about these for, engines? He, he added it to or two other existing ones. Okay. Um, so, hmm. Maybe the big ones are better. I think I'm going to save up for this one, the versatile rod. Also, let me click out of the game for a moment and minimize VC's uh, face. Because it was just showing behind the game for me and flashing for some reason. Luckily, not on the stream itself. Yeah, I'm going to save up for this one. An all rounders rod. This rig supports a quick swap attachment, allowing the user to change lines depending on the situation. Okay. Not sure how that would really work. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to also want to know that does a lot of fishing. So, was I the only one hearing some sort of whistle there for a second? No, I heard it too. I heard it too. Okay. Uh, ah. Things are right here. Okay. Uh, that can't have been normal. Again, what has been normal here? Okay. It's actually not much between here and there. And there's only one place we can... <laughs> we can go to there. Or we, where we can dock. So, let's have a little look around the back. We can't get to that in time. Oh, oh, oh. There is Halo stuff here. Okay. Um, e. Spyglass. Can we take a check what this is? Or are we too close to it? Probably too close. Okay. Some sort of gliding thing. Hmm. Anything behind the back of this place? Also, that's a, a nice little bit of game design. There is very little between the Twisted Strand and here. And yeah, only the steel points between here and the Devil's Spine. But there's a lot of little places between the Marrow and Gale Cliffs and Stellar Basin. So you'll be much more likely to explore in this direction at, start, yeah. at the start. I used to realize there's numbers of letters on this map. 
Uh, yeah, just, just for grid uh, stuff and such. Like, uh, warden, uh... For a moment I thought something was jumping out of us, but no, it's just... <laughs> bleh, dolphins. Okay, as long as they don't have human teeth or anything like that, we should be okay. And... Thank you, Helium, for that mental image. And... Well, let's, let's see. Plum Glacier Boy. Whistle? What whistle? No, no whistles. Um, some figure <laughs> I can't make out. Uh, some sort of burning thing. Let's go. What is that over there? And there's a message here. And a, a beach boat. Uh, now we got out for a second. What is oh, this? Bloody heck. Wait, that's not the boat. Dog tags. A pair of dog tags. A name, number, and address is printed in duplicate. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not a, the boat. That's a fighter plane. World War One or Two One. Probably a two. Yeah, I, I was thinking, why are there bullseyes on a boat? But no, that's a that's a crashed plane. This is a boat. <laughs> Harold! Okay, can we in can we investigate this site? No. What the heck? Was that Harold or his brother? Probably his, his brother. brother. <laughs> his brother who is into metal. Greg? Let's see. Oh, it's a new game. Okay, a grey mullet. A plain fish often found in sandy or muddy areas. One of a few species that can survive in brackish water. Okay. And, yeah, th like we've been warned that by the, the mayor, this place is foggy all the times, it seems. So, we found the merchant place. Okay. Uh, let's see, we have yeah, some more grey gullets here. Let's see, how much do you sell for? 16, 15... Okay, decent amount, especially in number. Uh, let's put that in our storage and that as well. That's probably important to someone. And yeah, th that, wa that was a massive crab hiding at under a ship. <laughs> More of inside the ship. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, yes, yes. We should probably throw up. Yeah, we before before nightfall. Let's go put these out. Oh wait, did I? Sh I sh I'm pretty sure I had these. Uh, did I accidentally sell them or something? Oh no, here they are. Yeah. I'm, I'm being dumb and blind. Okay, we'll get that one behind Little Marrow some other time. It seems that there's not many crabs in this area. But at least a bit of extra income will be nice. Uh, oh, needs repair. Uh, Okay, I, I thought I'd repaired them already, oh. but no, they, they they don't repair stuff that's in your in, that's in your storage. Okay. Oh dear. So, toss that out there. It's in chat. Uh, yeah, they should. We, we, we met the, these things before. The first one, I named Harold. Yeah, and they were using a wooden ship as their home. So, let's rest up a bit. Is there anything nearby that we can fish up for some easy money? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, let's finish sleeping. Oh, almost forgot. The blades actually uh, accidentally approached one of the red pole, the light poles we've seen sometimes. 
Yeah. And Voldemort actually in that bay where we had to blow up to get to, to grab something. They need a hermit. You know, okay. they have maybe transport to his brother. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that, the red beans are where the relics are, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Horseshoe crab. It looks freakish and unnatural, but this ancient relic of the past sells well. Okay. But and people eat those? One. Apparently, not that I'd ever want to, since they look like freaking. Uh, uh, what are those things in Ark called again? Trilobites? Yeah, they look like that. Oh. Let's uh, see. But they are not related, it says Trilobites Ascent uh, line is long extinct, but. They were around the, that time, I think. Ooh, there's something red over there. Uh, um, Sophie. You, 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 you mean you miss it, the big thing here in the water? Yeah, some sort of trap? Uh, uh, the... Hello? What the heck is that? Something that wants us. Something I want to lure through there. Yeah, but... Oh, you were supposed to lure that into the trap? I'm guessing, hoping. Uh, yeah, we... Okay, the name of the game here is going to be Panic. Yeah, what the... We, we only 26 minutes in and we already seen two monsters. Okay, first oh, off the monsters at that. Let's see. Uh, did we catch anything in the net? Uh, yeah, let's sell you. And no nut research. Uh, storage. So I don't. Th oh, also, let's get to reading this. Getting over it with mind and body, really. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's remove this. Put it in storage. And we don't actually have a fishing rod for this area. Uh, let's see. Coastal and shallow. We know there's Hadel at night out in the open waters, but we don't know how it's going to be here. And I doubt it counts as oceanic in there. So... It's the shipyard. There's the volcanic one. There's this. Uh, this one. Mangrove. Yeah, the mangrove one. Let's buy one and install that. Might be a little bit of a waste since we'll be moving another. Uh, uh, Glacier Boy is uh, handling things well. I did not see a monster, so I don't. So it don't exist. Look, oh god, a monster. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh. I have no idea what to name that damn thing. Do you have a suggestion for a name for that thing? Uh, which one? The crab or the tentacle thing that chased us? The tentacle thing. I think we named the other crab uh, Greg. Uh, Vinny? Vinny? Yeah, because it looks like a vine. Also, uh, okay, that, that the... opening in the trees is specifically there so we see that red thing. It is again. It's... Can we lure you straight into that? And if, if we get too close, okay, that red thing is it. Okay, uh, yeah, that red glow is what's causing the panic, and it okay. rises real fast. Okay, there must be some yeah. way to activate those. Uh, it, it, he's <laughs> changing you. I'm hoping it'll piss off. Yes, it'll piss off. Okay, I I don't want to. I'm play. This is completely new to me, so I'm going to play this extremely cautiously. <laughs> Even though, well, our boat can take quite a few hits. Yeah. God's Mistake seems a good name. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with that. 
probably is, uh, 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 because it is uh, which god made this? For yes. the which god made this, it might not be a mistake. Oh, we can dock here. Let, let's fucking dock here so that thing will stop chasing us. Oh. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away a wooden stake. He stands as you pull on ashore. <laughs> Stranger, from that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the, ra the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid uh, them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the minds. They made us see things, do things. There seems to be only one of you here, so they definitely did many things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until after I've avenged my squadron. What happened to him? A number of us went down in the fog crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here, under the bows of... Uh, bow? How would you say that? Bows. Bows of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection. Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends in the forest. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fights. Are you any different to the rest? I can help. Getting rid of these fucks will make things a lot easier for us. I figured you'd be up for it. You... you have to look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll then use that to bombard the beast. So, we're getting a cannon. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. Who was it we were not to use any cannons in this game? Lost episode... Oh, I wonder who said that. Well, a mortar doesn't count as a cannon. Close enough. It's, it's a mortar. Cannon. Other planes <laughs> went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Uh, how will you honor your squad mates? <sighs> I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. Well, I've only got tags from the one side. You must understand. I never found all of their bodies. You killed them, didn't you? You probably went mad and stabbed them. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. Hmm. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one. In good faith. I'll give you more I for each tag you bring. Okay. I don't think he killed them. I think the damn things ate them. There's probably more monsters in the forest, apparently. Probably. And now we know that it's called a mind sucker. Different naming for a mind flayer, but all yeah, the same. Yeah, kinda. I can see the difference. I saw a blood you should remove it there. Glacier Bill said again, and now. Uh, let's see. The Abrahamic God having a lapse of judgment. Well, if you look at uh, biblically accurate angels, maybe not so much. <laughs> Are there any shipwrecks around here? Hmm. Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. Uh, tell me about the mind suckers. Devilish creatures, through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a favorite his dream. When I finally snapped out of it, it was covered in blood scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I have done my best to avoid the fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Okay. And, yeah, he he definitely killed some of his brothers in arms. Probably not intentionally, due to, it seems, what they do to a person. Yeah. But then again, is that the whole, isn't that the whole deal with the... Uh, Insanity, it drives you to do stuff you do not want to do. Yeah, but it, it probably made free meal. Like, 
If you're one of them so insane, he, he go berserk on the others, then when he runs away, it, it just goes to the corpses. So he's, he did say he did get recover all the uh, body tags. Let's see, we can use some explosives to clear it out the path there. We probably should go grab a bunch of explosives. I have a thought. No, not sound based or anything like that. So back to haste and make haste back to here so we can get some booms. Some more crabs. A bunch of crabs. I think I remember around the fact about these uh, horseshoe crabs. Uh, let's see, Glacier Boy. Those biblically accurate angels are actually the higher tier angels that don't interact with humans, but other angels. Uh, as well as circling uh, God's throne. I think the Adamants of Paradise. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, with how many eyes those things have, they will be constantly looking over your shoulders all <laughs> the same. Oh, dear. Okay. 70 <laughs> ish for the crabs. Uh, okay. Storage. Dog tags. And it's at the. F where do we buy the explosives from you again? Shipyard. Yeah. One. And we can only buy one a day. Anyways, we, we know where the, one of the fish they want is. Uh, let's see. About those rare fish you wanted me to find. And what did you want to know? I found a gold for you. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find. Oh. Very useful. Two of them. Let's see from Clash Boy. They be the moderators. Okay, of, <laughs> of Twitch, Twitch chat. chat. Okay, I didn't. I should have uh, guessed that we could ask them about the area. So, <laughs> what can you tell me about Twisted Strand? Not much, to be honest. I've gone inside just the once. I sailed into that lagoon behind us and saw I <laughs> could go left, uh, right, or straight ahead. Hmm. Something about the place seemed odd. Through the fog, it looked like the trees were moving. I can't explain it. I turned around and sailed right back out. <laughs> I can't blame you. I sometimes use this spot to rest up for a few days. The sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do any regular business here, of course. Okay, so this is just a, a pit stop for them. Alright. Okay. At least you put the place yourself on the more safer part. Yep, there's one. So if we don't move, it should just piss off. Okay. That is good to know. So if we can spot them first, they will just leave us alone. Also, what's this here? Okay, just valuables. Not much value to us right now. China and... What's and that? Hmm? One sec. Here's explosives. Yeah. Uh, saw something on the beach there you sailed past. Uh, right behind you. Well, let's grab this first. Yep. Yeah, uh, do you see that? that something... But oh, there's another one. Yeah, they're markers. Oh, okay. I get a feeling that is going to contract around us at one point or another. Yeah, I'm paranoid of that one. That only turns into a portal. Okay. Uh, storage. Yeah, I already have them with. I could have didn't need to go back for that. Okay. Found some dog tags. There. Hmm. Done. I thank you. I'll hang them on the tree. Here, as promised. Okay. And yeah, we're going to have to go look for more. For now, though. Hmm. Oh, coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Okay. So then we, then we could have just one side filled up completely for all of those. Uh, and then we have the other side completely free for either a sprawling net or extra fishing rods. Ooh. And we have a good amount of these at the moment. 
Hmm. Let's see. This one has a gap in between. So this one would be easy to just get and then have one of these extra. Uh, or maybe two of these. Um, especially with how we have things now. But I, I am curious about how powerful these are. Like, at the moment, we are doing fine with these. But these might be extra powerful. And might become very important. Let's put some points in this. And let's see. 52 and a half knots. A further improvement on the basic jet drive engine. This unit has two intakes for additional power. Okay. That is 52. And we have... It's 52 in five spaces. So that would give us more than two of these. Hmm. And we, we have enough research point for it. Let yeah, let's research this one, then we'll see how good the last one is. Yeah, for the, the Oh. Yeah. Engine stack 67.2. <laughs> A hulking mass of an engine boasting considerable speeds. Okay, that's ten that is a bit over yeah, that's a bit over eleven knots per square. Okay. Yeah, do I feel like the jet one is probably good to go for for now for I think we're gonna need that speed. Probably. Uh, unless of course yeah, when one of is one of them just uh, next to us. I think I heard something rise from the waters. For now, <laughs> let's rest. This place is going to be even worse at night. Dark. No! No, I'm sure it's fine. We see some uh, rainbows and bunnies over. Or fluorescent fungus. Uh. That's this. Long fin eel. Okay, that is a long eel. A, a long eel with delicate fins. Spends the day coiled around the roots of the mangrove trees, but emerges at night to hunt. Okay. And this one got hunted. Should be worth a decent bit. Yeah, we should probably investigate how, how pricey those are. Hmm. Okay, Is for a moment I thought that little wisp of air was <laughs> heading straight for us for some reason. Uh. Oop. Is that fishing water or is that sucker water? Uh, this is a catfish. This is so a catfish. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you got catfished. Equipped with sensing barbels, this large scavenger can detect morsels hidden in the mud. Okay. Let's have a little look at the map. Okay, we have the camp right here, and there's two locations he wants us to investigate. One behind his camp. This part is basically a stealth mission. Hello, fish. Tarpon. Okay. A powerful fish capable of bursts of energy. Well suited to dashing into the mangrove roots to take cover. Okay. I'm mostly grabbing them for... Yeah. Filling in the encyclopedia. Are you alright? What? You sound very nervous and paranoid at right at this time. This whole place is fogged up, and those things can pop up at any time. <laughs> so can you blame me? Take a look at the chat if they can. You got to, yeah, what are you laughing at? I think, I think due to the delay, he just got to hear my uh, joke. I think yes. he planned to do the same uh, catfish joke as I did to you. Let's see. 
Hmm. Okay, we can't really fit this. I may have taken on a few too many rods for fishing speeds. Yeah. You, you can fit that little thing there. The little square. Oh, there, yeah. Okay. It's one part of the mortar. Why is the wreck making sounds? Is something moving around in there? Might be the wind. It's making a creak. Well, the, the, those planes were not really exactly heavyweight. True. One of these roots is so going to contract around us. I think that, I think they, these are all the routes where you go to fish for those uh, eels. Oh dear. I almost shout the sheep is there. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit overly cautious because we've only seen them at the start for now. I presume at night they will become a lot more active. Uh, let's see, I found part of the mortar. We found one component, but it's still missing a piece. Nearly there, keep looking. Okay. Uh, we're not going to rest, we're going to sell our fish. Hmm. Yeah, soon someone else will get catfished. I should probably stop making catfish jokes, shouldn't I? Probably. Yeah, the, I'm, the game is making me proper paranoid about those things. Yeah, you're not alone. Not enough space. I didn't uh, even know who should grab crabs like mangrove areas. I do know they have blue blood. Uh, royal fish. Let's see. 27, 72. So good for the catfish. 70 for the eel as well. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, how much for the engine, though? Uh, the yet a one. Mm. Let's see. Repair that as well. Let's see. 450. Okay. You, you, you can afford it. Let's see. Uh, again, we are not selling our engines until we absolutely know that we won't have much use of them. We probably don't need two of these. We won't be able to fit them anyways. For now, we'll pull them out and we'll get ourselves a jet engine. Mm. Will that make you feel a bit safer? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to outrun these things at the very least. Five hours to install, and we can fill in the last two spaces with something we already have. Let's see, 14 knots, uh, we don't actually have any other engines. Okay, we probably sold the previous ones. There we go, and now we can, <laughs> now we can go at 77.7 knots of speed. Oh dear gods. Yeah, th th this should help us for a good while now. Yeah. At least until we need the final one. Let's see. Getting through the box. And we have this message. Tattered receipt. Goldsmith and Son, number 27 Little Narrow, December 22, uh, 1926. Received the sum of fifty dollars and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes: received a further three pounds, you know, three, you know, three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow for collection. Engraving as to be as followed: for J, my shining star. Okay. Wait. Ain't this before World War Two? Hmm. Now uh, uh, we don't actually have a uh, we don't actually have a set time or a known time when this takes place. It could be the fifties, could be the eighties, could be the modern time. 
Hmm. Yeah, this place has seen activity around the World Wars area, at least. Um, I don't think mortars were really a thing in the First World War. Let's see. I found an airman in Twisted Strand who crashed there some years ago. He is the only survivor, ma surviving member of the squadron. He doesn't want to leave until he's avenged his fellow aviators, killed by mind suckers, apparently. I'm to help him with his plan. Okay. Yeah, uh, wait. We, we've been having mortars since Middle e Evil times. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, but not the... the kind that we're assembling, I think. Yeah, a different mortar. Like, the ones we have now, these are rather quote unquote light compared to the ones uh, they used in late middle times to renaissance putting that one back uh, keeping this one because it's a good bonus and yeah we still have a very high fishing speed okay rest up before we venture in again I, I think Medieval and Renaissance mortars are nicknamed after, well, mortar and pestle. Yeah, the original things did look like, uh, yeah, the, <clears throat> like the, uh, I wouldn't say alchemy kinds, but the, uh, yeah, yeah ingredients the, processing kinds would be, yeah. Uh, Oh, there's one. Uh, oh! I, I, info in chat. Uh, big Trucker. The prototype of the modern mortar was a three-inch weapon developed by the Englishman Wilfred Stokes in 1915. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that, Trucker. I uh, hope oh, you're doing well. Welcome. Uh, and yeah, uh, welcome to Dredge, the fishing uh, simulator where totally no abominations or such are going to be. Sneaking up on you. <laughs> I say as one sneaks you. up on us. <laughs> uh, you. That sounded too close. Uh, don't eat the mushrooms. Definitely. Let's see. The other is behind us. Okay. Yeah, th those things have. Those things are like the T Rex in Jurassic Park. Their vision is, or Tomb Raider, their vision is movement based. So as long as we stay still when they're taking a peek, there it is, we will we'll be safe. Took the long way, okay. Uh, we have plenty of metal in stock at the moment. Let's see. Press this stuff up. There we go. Mortar barrel. Okay. And I... <laughs> trucker is feeling uh, tired or sick. If, if it's the latter, then I hope you'll be feeling better soon. That or the mushrooms looked rather nauseous for him. That wasn't a mind sucker. That sounded like something a lot bigger. So let's... Oh dear. Uh, oh, your your computer is busted. Okay, that 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 is a big setback for anyone. Oh, uh, I feel you, man. It's it's not pleasant when that happens. Yeah, I I hope it can be repaired. <laughs> okay, here's the other part. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. <laughs> you may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoon around here. I've assembled those traps uh, for the mi those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Okay, but they didn't activate it before. Okay. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. <laughs> I'll mark the location of the traps in your map. Got it. Okay, how do we get it in there? They're attracted to some very specific types of bait. Your skills will come in handy yet again. Have you got everything? Uh, what kind of saves? Uh, how did you make those traps? 
patience. The creatures only seem to sense movement. So whenever one uh, was close, I froze. Uh, is it safe? <laughs> yeah, of course not. <laughs> of course. Uh, I understand. So what next? We need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Okay. Now these things have specific tastes. For the first one... Okay, three fish from the area. Uh, whatever that is. Those are the two we already drug up. Uh, for the second one, two fish. Catfish and another one of those. Okay. And the third one is two eels. Okay, so we do need to do some late fishing here. Okay, that's all for now. Well, I guess we and can go get that uh, trolling net back after all. Yeah, I, I saw the water there. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Power went out for three and a half-ish hours last weekend. It turned right off before uh, UPS ran up. Uh, but when the power came back, the BIOS settings were borked, and now it won't even connect to the strings. Uh, yeah, that that is going to be difficult to fix. Ooh. Jewelry. Ooh. Another sneaky bastard trying to hide. Okay. <laughs> this, this is where they're the most active. Probably due to it's easiest for them to move about here, probably. Go. We need three of these at the least. Yeah, I, I, I need to refill my drink. So, um, folks, make sure he doesn't die. No promises. Okay, this is one of those we need. Oh, miss, miss. Okay, a gar. Oh, okay. I've heard of gars before. And that's that's noise is coming from the rack nearby. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we saw this one on the list, but let's grab it all the same. Sar Sergeant Fish, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. work stole my rig and make me take a new one with all the D safety flying feet. Uh, uh, all the D safety flying uh, safety features. Okay, yeah, that. Yeah, that that's just not just inappropriate, but dangerous as well. Uh, oh bloody heck! And I also go back now. But show me the fish. Okay, we have Sergeant Fish here, <laughs> sometimes called the Snook. Uh, this drab fish feeds on anything smaller than itself, including juveniles of its own species. Okay, um, I think I fished up one of these things once. Hmm. Or at least attempted to. <laughs> uh, my, my aunt and uncle lived next to a stream that had a rather small stream. That's still big enough to have fish and it, it has these bastards in them, I think. And... Then we have the gar, an exceptionally long and slender fish. Strong scales stretch down the length of its body. All right. We can deposit these. We can see another time when uh, or how much they are worth. I did not know that was a gar. I guess I, which I was thinking of uh, was not a gar than uh, some streams back. Don't blame me for random break checks. Do you mean that your brakes randomly go off, or that they, that they just blamed you for something you didn't do and used as an, that as an excuse? <laughs> there we go. That should do it. Uh, Okay, closing the door. Uh, yeah, the 
the internet just crapped out, rather than the router crapped out. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, share, please. Yeah, give me a second. Uh, ta -ta -ta. OBS there. And let's pull yeah. that down. Okay. I, was, I was guessing somewhere like that. This is not the first time it happened, but it has been a while since it's happened. Yeah, I I don't know what might have caused that. Uh, I I missed. I think I missed exactly where things went off. Uh, but yeah, we've got we got the fish for the bait. Uh, actually, we still had connection while I was getting the fish or starting to return. So uh, not miss too much. Just a bit of text, I think. Yeah, for uh, yeah. when I, I saw trucker say said something about. Something, something break, then the yeah things broke. Uh, let's see. Yeah, last bit he said, uh, "Don't blame me for break checks." So not break, yeah, but <laughs> that's okay. when he said that. Then the <laughs> yeah, then it broke for me. That's the moment I saw the screen. You and you suddenly go quiet and freeze. Okay, uh, let's see. Glacier boy, uh oh, responding to the. Dream crashing, I presume. And then, uh, big trucker. Yeah, yay! I'm not a mod. You can't blame me. <laughs> uh, is that a threat to make you a, a mod then? Hmm? Okay. Uh, let's see. We should have some fish for some of these. We need, we need a catfish for that one. Yes, we know. No need to sigh like that, you old hag. And yeah, we need two eels there. What are Why they are you calling him a hag? hag? <laughs> okay, where do I put the baits? In one of the traps I've constructed in the lagoons. They're marked on your map. Okay, so we don't actually we don't actually get the mortar ourselves. Yeah, there was actually something I thought about bringing up because the thing that makes this more of a horror and survival game is that, well, we can't fight back. We can only run away. Uh, trucker, I've got enough channels I mod for, thanks. Uh, I was just joking, anyways. Uh, let's see. Oh, dear gods. We can sell that one, and we have the pungent bait. Foul smelling mixture of fish and something else. The airman says it should attract the beast in a twisted strand. I should be careful. Uh, yeah, and also careful with how late it is getting, so we're sleeping through this. Yeah. Oh dear. Gotta wait for dawn. Let's see. We are recording, right? And I hope. Yeah. I st I stopped the recording uh, itself uh, for while it was out, but we we are recording again. Ah, oh, good, and good. Twins eels. Okay. Uh oh. Endlessly pulling away, but torn apart, they would surely perish. Two spiteful siblings splitting at the seams. Yeah, it's a, yeah, that's a more, that's a different version of cat dog. Or or a Boris, but I, I didn't notice at first until it said twin. What what twin? What the? Oh, I realized that both ends had heads. Both ends have head. Did I accidentally rhyme? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, for now. A large cage is suspended over in the water. The small receptacle is floating underneath. Yeah, let's load it. Load the bait into the trap. You should probably move away. This as thing pops up. Okay. It's too busy with that to notice us. And there we go. Oh. Sliding down to make sure it doesn't move. And boom, motherfucker. Okay, and we need to get proof. Inside is the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. Okay, that is a bit big. Can we fit that somewhere? Yes, we can. We can, we can. Chunk of flesh. A pale and bloody slab. Its smell is acrid and metallic. Okay, the rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Oh! Uh, oh, uh, trucker! Um. Uh, yeah, the router crapped out, so I had to restart it. Okay. Yeah, and we got back to... Seriously? Again? 
Okay, oh, so here? these two. Hmm? What? Uh, oh, you, you. What? If we are still alive, I can see the status. That, oh, yeah, <laughs> further to the left of here. Uh, uh yeah. The, the router crapped out, so yeah. The, it. I saw. I thought at first that it was my personal computer's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cable, but uh, no, the entire house lost uh, internet, so I had to reset the router. Uh, well, my uh, router takes minutes to turn on. Uh, yeah, what, what we what we just do is we just pull out the, the power cord of it and wait ten seconds and put it back in, and it will typically take a, a minute or two to start back up. Oh, you're still here! Oh, for bloody heck, hell! Did you lose audio? Apparently for a moment, uh, for you was only very quiet. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a repair. Well, repair, damage repair. <laughs> now I'm just getting flustered. Yeah, for, uh, for everything frozen again, and then I could still hear you speak. Then you were just only quiet. Okay. Uh, let's bring back the trophy, and that hopefully should keep this beast away for now. But I guess that also confirms that they only haunt their specific areas, so these in-between bits should be safe. Big yeah, emphasis on should. And that's some sort of emote. Yeah, there, there's three baits that we need to make, so there's at least three. Double emphasis. On at least. Let's see. I have a creature corpse to show you. Now let's see it. You hand the tethered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubber, uh, rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. <laughs> yes. This is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Okay. Uh, we need a catfish and two eels for the other ones. So, yeah, we'll have to go look around a bit. Actually, we should probably go get some more explosives because I think I saw another tree that can be blown up somewhere. And, yeah, now, now that we know that those things remain basically stationary, it takes a lot of the danger away from them. But then again, I very much doubt it is just three of them. Yeah, but do remember, they do chase you. Mm. Yeah. So, luckily uh, enough, we do have a, a very strong uh, engine now. Yep, very strong. Mm. Okay, let's sell our crab. Yep. When it's falling, pay attention to how deep the water is. Not every fish likes deep water. Okay, speaking of the encyclopedia, we have a new, few new pages on it. And we have a new message. Uh, yeah. Okay, the twin deal is the only... Amp no, is that the only... Yeah, that's the only one. And... Okay, the Gars only have one aberration as well. It looks like it could be a really big one. Yeah, okay. I, I learned that the Swordfish may have up to three or four aberrations variants. Okay. Let's like see. mackerel. It feels like years since I have been warm. I do not expect uh, I do not expect him to write. I just need to know what that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I have written him another letter. This will be the last one. Okay. Who's that? Uh, still the same, only more objectives. And yeah, two more places there and there. Okay. For now, we need to go get a catfish. As you know, we still haven't found a conga eel, have we? Nope. Those should be back in the gale cliffs. Let's... Have we caught these before? Oh yeah, these are the tarpons. This is a different passage than we've been through before. Let's oh, hello. Should have guessed that there'd be one of these around. 
We just need to find the time for when it's active. More gar. And there's another tree that can be blown up. And I really should have remembered to get the bloody explosives. Gar again. Uh, yeah, the, the woods are definitely creaking enough that it makes it sound like they are moving. And I'd gotten a bit turned around. Let's see. Uh. More of that fish. That is the territory of the other... Yeah. <clears throat> of the other mind sucker. More oh, guard. Hello, Lil. Yes, and... Uh... Be, be safe, trucker. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, trucker. I'm. If I'm going to buy new component parts, I should leave now. But I really can't afford to. Uh, oh. Well, if mm, if you're short on cash, I can uh, maybe help you a bit. Uh, just just DM me about that if you want. Uh, it's starting to get late. And yeah. uh, hello there, Jess. Uh, let's see, tired, hi, <laughs> more or less lurking. Okay, thank you all the same. And I, I hope you enjoy, uh, do enjoy the show of, well, me getting the crap scared out of me by fish. Aren't you supposed to be in your own territory? I mean, that is his own territory. Mm. No, that thing's territory is supposed to be over there with the trap. And then, then again, yeah, this, oh. this place is probably divided into three between those things. Uh, what is the way out? Uh, we're completely on the side of... The <laughs> We meet. Okay. We'll need to one, go through the uh, night for a bit then. We have one lurker appearing in chat and now one, another one appearing in game. And I think those were catfish next to us, but we don't really have the time to go check. Because now they'll be hiding anyways. Uh, maybe with some luck we can find some eels. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I, I have Eldritch Horror Spray and Cannon and Garlic. Yeah, the garlic is mostly for eating. Uh, I guess I can eat and pretend they are apples. Uh, this way. Yeah, past the corpse. Uh. I wonder, it ain't. It ain't John Rudder. How to say this? Strong to bite into? Uh, what strong? Garlic? Garlic. Uh, <laughs> with taste, maybe a bit, yeah. But maybe it'll, maybe it'll give you bad enough breath to keep the beast at bay. Uh, well, I have heard of garlic breath, so. Okay, let's rest up. Definitely taking plenty of time with this whole adventure. If there is an alternate ending, uh, I hope it isn't time-based, like finish it in 20 days or something. Oh dear. We've basically been here in this area for soon two months. Okay. <laughs> Actually, haste won't be of much use since these things are, well, motion-based detection. So getting speedy won't actually help us. Yeah, like, it, it's helpful for, to escape, perhaps, mm -hmm. but we, we, it's more important to stand still. Like, we, we rather use the speed if we need to. It's that mystic wind again. What is that trying to push us to each time? So those are too small, too small. Too small? Yeah, catfish are pretty big. Wrong catfish! <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Trucker. One, they close in three hours. Two, I could put them on a card or get a store card. But three, I'm still trying to recover from the new daily driver purchase. Uh, four, I have several other used computers used. Uh, uh, I could probably put something on for a while. Okay. Uh, if you're really if you're really short on cash, don't uh, uh, don't feel afraid to ask. All the same. Okay. So he said three. Uh, for me, do to make sure. I thought he said thirty-seven. Uh, that made me confused. What is that over there? Uh, tarpons out in the sea. Wait, we do we we do need that. Uh, no, we need catfish and the eels. Yeah, but we need that for the other bait. Mm, no, we we need a catfish for the second bait, and we need two eels for the third bait. So unless there's oh, right. something else. That we need bait for. We don't need tarpons at the moment. So I'm going to keep this equipped. Oh, the music. Oh, hello. A crooked boulder with a small, simple platform at its base. It's twi the twisted shape of you know, a deformed fish is barely recognizable, carved into the rock face. This needs I think this needs aberrant fish. Okay. Yeah. Bloody, that, that's an unpleasant rock face. Grey mullet. Hmm. Wait, it, ain't, ain't grey mullet a hairstyle? <laughs> uh, more like a, a, sty uh, a style and color. Like, mullet is a uh, hairstyle. And... still... I'm half curious to see if we can actually fish whilst those things are looking at us, but I'm not going to tempt fate. Uh, I kind of wonder how many are enjoying us being so damn paranoid. At least they make. How get more cannons? At least they make a bit of noise. When they start to surface, uh, right, these are yeah tarpon. Mm. Okay, I thought it surfaced behind us. It was definitely a water noise, though. Blood, it, we we boom for paranoia at this point. Where are you? A fish. Got more sergeant fish. Okay. I think they put the sergeant here as a pawn. Due to there's a military person here. Yeah. Uh, where are the bloody... Where's the bloody uh, catfish? Uh, so it's starting to get dark again. Oh. Okay, you did the uh, shaking there. Okay, okay. Let's head here since we know there's a spot that the eels like to be. Uh, they aren't spawning at the moment. I stand corrected. Yeah, uh, even I saw that. Hope that we don't get another twin. There we go. Hmm. Are we enough to make another bait? And we don't have any room for more. I kind of want to. I want to see about getting aberrant fish for that yeah, thing because we know that the the first shrine that we filled up gave us equipment. Uh, baiting the traps. Wait for the last one. And there. And there. Uh, let's see. Trucker. My main computer was an FX uh, 308320. Uh, it was 11 years old and I've been rubbing uh, its limitations for a while. But being able to uh, get to work was more important. Upgrading to a higher end Ryzen was the plan for a long time. 
just need the budget to uh, recover a bit. Damnable overinflated used car prices. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, here's bait for number three. And yeah, we need a catfish for the last. Hmm. Let's rest. It feels like a yoke. We are right. actually hunting for catfish. Yeah. Uh, catfish and now we're going to turn on the space. roof light. For I feel like uh, this talk is a bit too much now for the, all this paranoia. Is this the one that we have to bait for, or is this number two? Ah, I, I had a feeling you would peek out. Okay, that, that one did get caught in the map. Wait, what? Sorry? Yeah, that one did get. Uh... Okay, there's the. Okay, so either that is number three, or each of. We can use any bait with any one of them. Maybe? You can actually hear him fire it. Nice. Okay, that's two out of three gone. Get this junk. And the rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Goodbye and good riddance. No. Yeah, not even I want to eat that. Wrong pot. Did not mean to use that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's supposed to shield us from stuff. But it has quite the cooldown. Where's the blasted catfish? Are they just uncommon here? Actually, uh, Cyclopedia, St Twisted Strands, let's see, Catfish, okay, Rod and, oh, so they are, they are a night fish, I, I thought we caught them during the day before, okay. And you actually yeah. caught them during the night, hmm. just when the night started. Probably. Okay, well, at least we can bring this one back. And then, yeah, get the creature corpse. Let's see it then, you drop the flesh into the ground and he gives it a few slashes with the knife. It bobbles a little. One taken care of, one remains by my count. Let's finish this. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's head back to the merchant. We'll get our trawling nets. And yeah, we can try and we can try and cheese this out a bit by just running circles around here. So another horseshoe cramp. Okay, sell those. Okay, 60 bucks. All right. Then we go to uh, storage. And let's see. We'll have to get rid of one of these. What is rolling it? We want to keep this one, I'm presuming. Hmm. And there's no real way to keep either of these two if we want to keep the local net or the local rig. So there. Oh, wait. Oh. Going to need to move this over. Install it there. And it's nighttime. Okay. That actually works out in our favor a bit. So. If you, if you can call it that. And we keep our eyes on the light. Bottom. 
I think I'm, I think I'm starting to burp out of nervousness. Nervousness? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that, that proves my point. Am I stuttering? I will blame the captain. <laughs> no horse trying to jump us. Don't. Tempt. Yeah. And then to show up right outside. Uh. As long as they don't head in, we should be safe. Uh, you caught something? Wrong thing. It's, it's the normal fish. There's something there. This that is fish? just debris. Yep. Oh. Let's see. Glacier Boy, I think I'm going to head off for tonight. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you for being here and chatting along a bit. And, yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, thank you for you and the uh, Glacier Boy. And have a pleasant night. Oh, got the book done. Okay. Uh, let's see. Getting over it, getting over it. Getting over it with mind and body. A strange journey smattered with quotes and wisdoms that pr promised enlightenment, but towards the end it became a tedious and unrewarding slog akin to climbing a mountain. An odd mix of re relaxation and frustration. Maybe we'll read it again someday. 15% resilience to panic. Nice. Nice, and also, it was a damn reference to that horrible rage game. Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay, let's grab a f one of these. Yep. Hmm. And deliver the last piece of base. It, you know what? I think I know what, what to serve you uh, tomorrow. No. You favorite, try to bite the mushroom stew. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, this is trap. We'll get into the tower, fire, and bring back proof. Okay. And um, yeah. Let's see. There is that stone. Ooh. I kind of want to go see. If we can find entwined mullet. Um. Twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. Okay. Uh. <laughs> hmm. We can actually. Okay. You called it. You bloody called it. Not the time. Yeah, don't trust that. No, I don't trust that boy anymore. Okay, rest up. And we get out. Okay. Um, was that night based or? What? I find you. Hmm? Yeah, I, I think it oh. rose up over there to the left between the trees. Hmm. Alright, I thought it just roots itself back up again. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to grab explosives. I, put, I should have I should have been stacking stocking up on that stuff. Let's see. Uh, trucker, I tried to uh, I tried to grade the driveway Thursday before last, and it rained for a week straight. 
<laughs> yeah, they definitely... Something didn't want you to do that, apparently. Okay, we'll sell the eel. And the normal fish. But this one is going onto the shrine, if it'll take it. Let's see. And shipyard. Give me the boom. Oh dear god. Where is the last one? To the right of here. Wait, is it way too far? Oh. I think I can find it from my brass cannon here. Let's see. Where is this thing's lair? Okay, so those were roads that have moved with. Wait. He's are these back. things. Are these things keeping the forest in check somehow? It seems. Is it getting more active with the mind suckers gone? That or you. Yeah. Or with them it. dying, you activate a secondary security system? I use security system vaguely here. Load the bait. GTFO. That. No, 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 we want to see this. Up there. Drink. It must have taken quite a, some time to get all of these set up. And then he has been here for years. Okay, rest of the carcass sinks. We still have zero clue where the relic in this area is. Yeah. Unless he has it. Oh, ah. Good find. This is where the refined metal is. We might as well grab that. I get the feeling we might have made things worse. So just slap that in there and head back to tell the tale of our victory. Yeah. Quotation oh, marks. Uh, and I was pleased with this. He actually grinded up and bought them. See, I'm fully expecting something worse to pop up any second now. I just realized. Him? Hmm? What if those mind suckers are the young ones? Yeah. How are things going? Now, creature corpse. Let's see it then. You drop the large bloody carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. Huh? With a sickening terror, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace glistening in gore. <laughs> well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price for the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? Here is the relic. Let's see. He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. Now, oh, that's it, I suppose. Hmm? What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but it's become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, you can make a, uh, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Okay. Uh, Bait? Yeah, this was left over from the other bait we made. Okay. Small portion of bait can be used to attract all manner of nearby species. Okay. Oh, oh, ability unlocked. Bait. Alright. Right. Oh dear. Now we can make some fresh stuff if you like. I'll need some fish from you first. Any type will do, but the more you give me, the more bait I can make. Okay. Yes, yes, shut up. Okay. So, we... If... 
How many fish do we have in the net? Let's let's throw the little let's go throw the wither the little ones into the blender. The lander. In there. Let me just grind these up. Won't be a moment. This is what I could make. Take it all. I won't keep here. Okay, quite a bit. So I'm guessing we get one for every fish that we do. They go crazy for that stuff. Day, night, doesn't need to matter. Also, the fish will usually show up. And all sorts of other things, probably as well. So for now, oh, let's undock. Yeah. And head to I slightly can't safer waters. See these. Yeah, I, I can see this becoming one of those that can be a blessing, but also a curse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, giant mob crab. Highly cannibalistic, these crabs have been known to devour their soft-shelled brothers after molting. Okay, you go there, you go there, and there. And just some more horseshoes. Uh, can I? Yes. Not there recommended to use horseshoe crabs as replacement for regular horseshoes. Yeah, the horses won't like that. Okay. Uh, careful with what we sell. Let's see. 48. And that only leaves this one, which we're going to put in that shrine. Let's see. My storage. Let's put some of this bait in here. Right, that bait not rot. Us. And we'll put that there as well. Let's see. Uh, for uh, love of. Hmm? I missed out two of the engines in the storage for a accordion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just to ask, why do you have an accordion there that was Oh, wait, that's not an accordion. Probably because you're hearing an accordion be played. Uh, Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is an accordion. I didn't think of that. A large and ornate necklace, ivory teardrops flank the central setting, an emerald trapped by four cresting waves. Okay. Let's put that in storage for the moment, so we have space. And this time, instead of heading straight to Black Isle, uh, <clears throat> first of all, let's rest. We're going to check in at the Marrows to see if the Lighthouse Keeper knows anything about that. Also, I'm just going to plug in some cables to recharge my headphones. One the stream. I don't have the right equipment. I guess. I'm shallow. I'm going to hear it keep to say, give me a head as up. And it's it not to go for my headphones for a moment. Let's see, where is that shrine? Connector. There. Nope. Hmm. Oh. Is this the now it glows green? There you mm. go. I'm back. It's not the same. Also, uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you. I, I missed a little bit about what you said about the necklace due to the headphones uh, 10 minutes recharging. Okay, I'll, I'll check back on it when we get to the marrows. Check if the lighthouse keeper has any interest in it. It seems that there are two of those black stone clusters around here. Ah, there is the shrine. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, nets. Oh, the, the waves lap up the pl uh, to the platform where you laid the aberration. As the water makes contact with it, a buzzing sound fills the air. Previously, still water bubbles up and over, obscuring the fish. A few moments later, when the water comes, something else is on the platform. 
tendon rods. Oceanic, mangrove, and shallow. Mechanisms of brutality bound to three gouging flaying hooks. Ungodly fishing device. Okay. Quite a lot uh, more impressive than the other thing that we found earlier. And I, I expected we had to fill the thing up, but no, we just needed one, <laughs> one tiny little fish. Hmm. Well, probably, it, I guess it just it being a aberrant was rare enough. Yeah. Uh, did, you, did you grab it? I put it. To, I sent it to storage. But you can. Yep. I think you needed to be at a dock to do that. Yeah. Uh, I think they're being uh, they're being uh, <clears throat> making it easy so you can do that. Uh, so you don't have to come back for it if you don't have the space. All right. Grabbing a few of these. And I think we need cloth as well for our upgrades. So yeah, these aren't exactly shipwrecks, but they'll still function basically the same for us. Let's get one more and then we'll head back. There, uh, that took a bit longer than I expected. Uh, okay, let's go along the outside. There haven't been many things to find along the shore here, but probably not because you'd be... <laughs> you'd have enough trouble dealing with the... Uh, hello. Uh, we are, we already know you're one aberrant. Uh, that we just ha we'd have enough trouble dealing with the mind suckers. So at least now we can see if there'll be I anything along the edges no more. here. <laughs> Boy, uh, wrap you as well. Look, okay, luckily enough, they don't escape when the trap runs out. I'm guessing it's going to be similar with the trawling nets. Yeah, we we grab these, sell them off, and then we grab the pots and head over back to the center of the map. Ah. So, 40 for all of those. Some of these. Oh, storage is full. Okay, uh, yeah, here is the big thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I misclicked. I thought I accidentally dropped it there, but no, it just moved it around on its own. Um, yeah, maybe take a look at the, if you can put some in uh, the upgrade uh, thingies. Yeah. In meanwhile. Floating dock. Wood and cloth. Okay, we're short one cloth, but we should be able to we should be able to dredge some up back at the marrows. There. Okay. I'm so glad we can do this. Uh, other than that, that's storage, and we can re-equip our fishing rods. Now we don't really need this one anymore. So, the 50% one. And that's 11, 38. There we go. And yeah. I'll leave, the, and I'll leave it as it is. Put that there. Might as well. <laughs> okay. Necklace. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no. I, I want you to reread really it for me since I missed a bit. <laughs> A large and ornate necklace, ivory teardrops flank the center setting, an emerald trapped by four cresting waves. Okay. That's pretty nice. Oh yeah, no, this is ivory. Hmm. Yep. I, uh, I something it it's not made of uh, your normal ivory. Yeah. Also, since these waters should be Big Amazon should be safer. Let's see if we can get this one to activate. Uh, 
Might as well keep the light on since there doesn't seem to be anything stalking the waters now. Uh, you were most saying? of these activate. Oh. Most of these activate after midnight, so unless this one activates at or earlier than midnight, we should be fine. Let's see. Mm, yeah, this this one activates earlier than when we came here. Okay. Yep. Roots moving again. <laughs> okay, we grab our, our stuff. I might. I'll probably check those out some other time. Or if we find out that we do need to see those things for another ending, I'll have to look them up. Or we'll have to find them out. Uh, shipyard. Before we go, let's repair all. And this a bit. Okay. And let's see. There is something over there. So since we have most of the day... Let's give that a visit. Uh, okay, those are just fish. I thought something was... <laughs> I thought something was rising up from the waters there. Uh, yeah, I, I swear, this game... I think I had some game before the game was a bit rather paranoid, but this one... Oh boy! Yeah, it gets under your skin. Figuratively. Hopefully. Yeah, the because I feel like it's a good horror game in this case. Yeah. Like, most quote-unquote horror games these days are just jump scares, and that's just... Yeah, not actually... Scary. Okay. <laughs> I did not... I did not actually see that coming. Uh, what is that? That way? Oh, that's another little island. It's quite remote, actually. Gary? Hmm. I, I, I'm going to a... end up naming all the monsters. I'm feeling a bit uncertain about this part, since it is the biggest wide open part. If there is anything big here, this is where it will be. Fucking dolphins! <laughs> Uh. Oh, God. Yeah, you're not alone. It seems some people have been scared by the dolphins. I'm pretty sure that's their express purpose here. <laughs> and looks like the delivery boy left. Okay. Safely, Oof. hopefully. As far as we can ever tell. Yeah, and uh, what, what did you say about the jump scares earlier? <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't... Uh, I don't think that... Jump scare is typically just that something jumps in your face and goes, ah, that was just something not scary freaking you out because you're so tense. Yep. <laughs> uh, how are you... Are you doing okay there? Uh, the dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. What's wrong? He stares ahead in silence. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. Are you alright? He seems unable to respond. He strains, clenching his fists. Eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. Stay with him. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What's that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Uh, the fuck did you do? 
Okay. Totally not creepy. Uh, okay. Yeah, whatever he's been fucking around with those packages has fucked him in turn. Okay, uh, Lighthouse Keeper, you want this thing? No, you do no else. Okay. Maybe it's too, if maybe we can offer earlier uh, things to her. I haven't actually went. In, I haven't actually gone to check that out yet in a new <clears throat> in a new game. Okay. Slide in and hand him over his jewelry. Uh, oh wait, we'll have to bring it with us, of course. <laughs> He can't do his magic, but he can't magic up stuff out of our inventory. Oh, dear. You oh, enter the dear. house, carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on the dusty table. Can uh, achievement the chains. Uh, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompenses all as well? Not demanding it, but you've been giving it all the same every time. Are you going... going... paranoid about us now? Once more he opens the book, what dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Atrophy? Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. Okay. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. Remarkable location on your map when you can be, uh, where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, how do you know where the relics are? I largely don't, but I read the seas. I see the swells that give shape to the formless. You hear the waves that whisper secrets to their witnesses. And I speak to the currents that hold a memory of all that they claim. Okay, are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Hmm. Why, of course, as human as you are. Totally not. Totally not. The words you read from the damn huh? uh, Atrophy. This phrase instantly calls the closest shoal of fish, readying them for swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need uh, not be close to your victims. But the population is unlikely to recover from such vile trauma. Use it sparingly. Okay, so when every, show, every fishing point that we use this on, is not going to recover, if ever, <laughs> or uh, if it's going to recover slowly, or if ever. I mean, is it going to recover? Just it's going to take a uh, quite a while. And well, since it does that to several. Yeah. So yeah. Devil's spine. more reasons to use it, use it sparingly. Okay, with that. Let's rest up. And we don't have the time to head back over. Actually, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I had stopped the timer. Uh, so I don't know actually how long we've been live for. Like there is the time. There is the fact that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, OBS has been recording for about two hours now, but I don't know how much of that time was missing due to, well, the internet's freaking out. Yeah, not long though. I don't think it was long for... it took maybe two or three minutes. Mm, not that short. Now, let, let's give it five more minutes for now. Did I see something red there? the other side no that that is where the refined metal is so if we need if we want we can get some more 
Uh, lighthouse keeper. Okay, nothing new from you. All right. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. Let's give this a shot in the middle here. Then we'll go uh -oh. grab some. Uh, <clears throat> then we'll go grab some stuff. Let's see. Okay, mackerel. Okay, different ones. Squids. Okay, so that can that can even attract nightfish to you. And that is filling up quite nicely. Okay, for now we need one more cloth for our next upgrades, which we can easily afford. And these are cloth, yes. Okay. Okay. Sell the fish, get the upgrades, and then we'll see what more we need for the following upgrades. Yeah, it looks like we can use the little time that remained to fix the damn ship. There, upgrades, tier 3. And let's see. Okay, it right. does seem to change our appearance, not our size much, but yeah, <laughs> not going to get too much size out of this little thing. Uh, oh, a lot Let's of space! See. Yeah, a lot of extra space we have now. Okay, we need to get rid of metal since that takes up the most spot in places. Uh, fit net space. Uh, oh yeah, we're def we're grabbing this. There'll be nowhere to find more cloth. One light space, one engine space. A bit pitiful, but I'm get two engine spaces for that one. Let's see, I'm guessing that would give two engine spaces here, I'm guessing. And this awesome one that is. Uh, yeah, that would make the most sense. An extra light spots over there. Oh. Okay, that has also corrected our lights, since it was sticking out before. Yeah, this, nice. this is a lot of extra space. Yeah, it should help a lot. There Especially we go, get, so do we'll okay. give even more. Let's see. I don't Why think we'll be able to fit either sound? of these. <laughs> because he's working whilst we're here. Yeah, uh, but I think, <laughs> I think... I think at this point maybe it's so paranoid and tense hearing the sound of a knife like that. <laughs> okay. Let's head to Steel Points. Let's zoom. <laughs> Uh, there's probably someone who's already tried to do like a challenge run of this game uh, without an engine or something. That sounds just too insane to watch. Let's see, there's two points we can go there. Yep. Lumpy mackerel. I told you there were more versions of mackerel. Let's see. A rising mass of lumps, twisting and pulling their way under the scales of their vessel. How long can it have lived like this? Okay. And so... now we're heading to the last area, which we were warned you... to watch out on. For the, the How ruins. do you want me to cook that? Yeah, I, <laughs> I'd prefer to just toss it back out overboard. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> I thought I thought something tried to drum, jump us. Same. I forgot they were huge whales as well in this game. S uh. Snake mackerel. Oh, okay. There's two. There's three places we can go to here. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Let's oh, quickly dock here. 
it was here I just stopped watching Blitz. So enjoy. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll admit Sloop Tube, they basically bolted to here by on accident. So I did see this before. The rest of this place is a complete unknown. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to talk about. I would have saw this figure and just stopped myself. I thought, right, no spoiling. <laughs> okay. Yes. Man meets you at... Uh, I heard something cracking. Uh, okay, I heard that. That's uh, That sounded mechanical. Then again, there are volcanic vents here. And what are those red lights dancing in the distance? Those are moving. <laughs> Okay, never mind. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day. A fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Uh, I'm just passing through. Nonsense. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. You are the worst telephone ever, then. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. The... the key? Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Happiness? Ah, merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. Okay. And your flesh, what does it crave? Uh, the warmth of the sun. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. Finally, what does the world deserve? Uh, everything. In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep. But no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn. But that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. Okay. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearts of uh, these three idols lay barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep, I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. Are those are those the, what the, the Blackstone shrines have been? Maybe? Let's see. Stone columns. The stone columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and texts. Which carving do you want to look at? A swarm of small creatures. The carving shows a, small, uh, a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children. Alone they are nothing. Together they summon her. Beneath these words, someone has added a cruelly scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them away. Okay. Large eyeless beast. The carving is of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, someone added, Blind but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. Are these the creatures that are going to be pestering us here? Or uh, is that the... what we might be hearing? Maybe. A bubbling vent? The carving shows a bubbling under underwater vent. The breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. But, uh, protection. Follow the magma. Find them. Okay. Wait. That, does that mean that the volcanic vent that is right next to us is actually helpful to us? Oh dear. And also, thumbs up. Uh, yeah, let's, let's read up a bit more on these things and then we'll call it. Uh, which statue do you want to look at? Left. Statue holds a stone... Oh, good. Uh, okay, I, these are the crucibles. <laughs> Never mind then. Uh, you've got much to say. I'm looking for sunken relics. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Relics, you say? Perhaps one such as this? He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and cre uh, seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped up my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you. When the ritual is prepared, 
It will be yours to carry forth. Oh, great. So we're going to have to help this mountain case. <laughs> what is that scroll you're holding? I found it at the end of my other life. It was to shore, as all great gifts do. It took some time for me to decipher the runes. It speaks of an incomprehensible door. And those wretched, twisted fish that swam through. Their flesh is the closest thing to a key. Okay, what I'm guessing at there is... Yeah, the aberrations are cr uh, created by something leaking through. This metaphorical door? Hopefully metaphorical? Uh, it's not metaphorical. Are there others that share your beliefs? There are pretenders. Failures that make a mockery of the deep. I tried correcting their ways. But I soon saw that they had lost the path. I left them to their ceaseless hunger. Oh. Blue robes. Okay. Hmm. This is this is going to be a really dangerous area. And as it should be, since there's a bloody volcano here. Yeah. But probably good need to start calling it here. Yeah. We're in the final stretch. Maybe we'll be able to finish the game next time. Actually, there's mm -hmm. one thing. One thing more. He said he marked the map. What did you mark on the map? Okay, three shrines there. I thought we would have to go all over the place to those other shrines. Okay. Hmm... I think Luckily there might be don't. something hidden behind those shrines as well, but for now, that is where we'll have to call it for today. <clears throat> uh, but first, uh, okay, someone has been very chatty in a DM group I set up for something. Okay, uh, for now, before we end the stream, we're of course going to look for someone to raid. So let me change over the, <clears throat> the screen share to the browser. And let's see. Let's unmute that. Yeah, I've, <clears throat> I've decided to just mute the entire browser through the volume mixer. That way, if we do have a clip and it pops up, that should keep it silent no matter what. Uh, okay. Normally, uh, yeah, mute Twitch itself. And let's look at... There's a lot of people online. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Well, starting at the bottom, we have Sari the Fox, who is streaming uh, Satisfactory. Reef the Leaf is playing Mega Man Battle Network. Nico Silverado is online with Stardew Valley. Okay, let's take a peek. Uh, <laughs> okay, why does he have some sort of cheese case on his head? Yeah, he's been busy for a bit, it seems. <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, next up, we have Schwalbe1728 with Rimworld, WBPL76 with Hollow Knight, Azra Arcane is online with Resident Evil 4, Redacted Cat is playing Mech Warrior still, Life Grow with Rust still, Shrimp OS is online with Factorio, uh, Jimmy McGinger is doing software and game development stuff again, I'm a Flanker is playing Call of Duty Warzone. Derpy Dew is streaming Breath of the Wild. Big V streams with Deus Ex. Smoops on the Nonsense with Darkest Dungeon. But Skeletal is still playing <laughs> Deep Rock Galactic. And Karenai is streaming Age of Wonders 4. And last but not least, Halloween 4545 with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm going Karenai. to guess that you want to rate. Yeah. <laughs> I was I almost said. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Smoop or the nonsense, but then I saw Age of Wonders 4, I thought, no, this one. Okay. This one's worthy. 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 Pardon there. Forgive okay. Me. Before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been on. <clears throat> thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Trucker, uh, Glacier Boy. <clears throat> And uh, the, the Marco, thank you all for chatting along for a bit. 
Uh, I yet, see some people who are sne being sneaky in chat. You know who you are. <laughs> and thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always. And thank you, everyone. And Lil Yes, Marco, Glacier yeah. Boy, everyone. Thank you for joining today. Yeah, I, I missed just as I scrolled up through this. Uh, thank you for the lurk. And <laughs> I didn't mean to skip you over. And yeah. Uh, tomorrow, free day, unless I feel like streaming or recording something. I still need to record the challenge area from <clears throat> Brockamele 2, which I should really get to that since it's been a week now. Uh, but yeah, I, I really should try and just force myself back into a decent sleep schedule again, because I've been falling asleep in the morning now every time and waking up around evening. Yeah, hmm. it, I keep telling you, you're not an owl. <laughs> not yet, at least. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's start up that raid, and we'll be returning with uh, Prince of Persia Warrior Within on Tuesday and Thursday for sure. Uh, we might do something in between, maybe not, uh, <clears throat> we'll just see how things go. But for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe for a while, and watch out for mind suckers. Yeah. Green deck.